On total drama and <laughs> in a world which we did create, two honorable warriors and two irrepressible foes battled for Kung Fu supremacy. No mountain was too high, no Obi sash too tight. In the end, Harold won the reward, but Courtney had an even bigger victory winning Beth over. But it's gonna take more than a puny alliance to survive this week on total drama action. Ah, uh, me, la, la, la. Oh, my back. Oh, what's with the mattresses? Are they filled with rocks or something? Maybe I filled Duncan's mattress with rocks. And maybe I didn't. Lamita knew yeah, him. I totally did. Lunch? Good morning, cast. Or should I say, good middle of the night. Hope you're all well rested and ready to boldly go where very few men and even fewer ladies have gone before. Wait a sec. I could have sworn we already did caveman movies. We did, Harold, but we had to reuse the costume since my astronomical salary account was roughly 97% of the show. Oh, dude, it's the middle of the night. And I was having the best dream about a bottomless deep dish pizza. Ah. Sorry, Owen. While today's movie genre may start at the dawn of time, it quickly moves up. Up and away! Oh, I get it now. We're doing out of space movies. Is your first clue I believe it's Apple. I think splitting off from the guys and forming a girl alliance with Courtney is really paying off. I mean, you heard her, right? She called me a genius. Ah, oh, so this so is so exciting. I love sci-fi. Don't you get enough science fiction with that imaginary boyfriend of yours? What's his fake <laughs> name again? Brainy? It's Bray D. And he's totally real. Listen up, Space Casey. You'll soon be facing some out of this world challenges. But first... A very special surprise for you. Each of you has received one special item sent to you from the outside world, which by now must feel like a planet. What I get? What I get? A citizen of the school year trophy? Let me see that. Awarded to the most trusting, caring, honest student who always puts others before himself. <laughs> What's his problem? More importantly, why didn't I get one of these? Ever since Chris brought me oh, back man. to cause mischief and stir up trouble for cash, I feel like I'm living a lie. Well, because I am. Sabotaging my friends makes me feel so dirty. But my family needs the money. Anxiety gas. <gasps> My nunchucks! Awesome! Oh, what is that? Whoa. I need a minute. 
Sharuna Chord. Banarla and Roy. Ablish. She felt I wasn't being Wall a beat. team player. Yes. I went on to win it without her. Take that, Brittany Six. Reed. This photo is a reminder. If you want something done right, you do it yourself. Dude, that's one small dog. It's not a dog, it's a tarantula. Oh, I love you, Scruffy. Mm, yes, I do. Our tarantula's like the fourth most deadly spider in the world. Dangerous when they're startled by loud noises. I thought your boyfriend was a model. Aren't like models rich? Brady says it's a sweet ring for his sweet lady. Looks more like a breakup ring to me. If it was lime green, then maybe Courtney would have a point. But this is cherry, and everyone knows that cherry is the flavor of love. <laughs> All right, gang, time to blast off to the great unknown. Everyone knows a good outer space movie has three things in common. One, the zero gravity is always a trip. Two, the G-force is a killer. And three, everything is recycled in space, including number one and number two. Okay, Ooh. Cool. So Which brings Bobby. us to our first you. I'll meet you at the Thrill Ride set in ten minutes. Uh -huh. I Did he say wheel ride? <laughs> the way to achieve zero gravity is to fly a jet on a parabolic course with large vertical climbs and even larger vertical drops. But with the price of jet fuel today, we're gonna simulate the effect on this makeshift space shuttle, which will hit the optimum speed needed to keep you all in a perpetual state of zero gravity. Um. Have I mentioned my fear of heights and falling and floating in midair at heights that could result in falling? Is that thing even up to cold? Your first outer space challenge will be to spend the rest of the night on the shuttle sleep in zero gravity conditions. That doesn't sound so tough. Y'all might want to hold on to something before we can, because we're almost ready to launch. Yes! Oh, yeah, they said launch. Not a bad way to do it. But it made it for the deep. What a bad bad. Oh, so dark. Please don't let me die. Please don't let me die. Please don't let me die. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's gonna be a long night. Better get some sleep. If you can. <laughs> Thank you. Duncan? Can I have your pillow? Mine floated off somewhere. No can do, babe. Already gave it to Scruffy. Zero G's can be tough on the little guy. As if I'm going to play second fiddle to a tarantula. Oh, I hate that gross, hairy creature. And his pet spider, too. Oh, Your snack is stuck to your finger, so you don't have to go chasing after it. Just one of the pluses of being a kept woman. So, uh, you gonna finish that? I think you're making a mistake being exclusive to one guy. Why tie yourself down when you can keep playing the field? Like moi. Gee, Harold is so crushing on me. That's the power of a ring on the finger. All guys want what they know they can't have. Yes, yes, yes. Can you have a problem? You've been hit by an asteroid, and your guidance system is toast. What do we do? What do we do? I just saw this in Race to Save Space 3. We have to manually override the navigation system. Real quick! Someone grab the joystick thingy! Whoa! Uh, 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 Way to go! Nice job!
I got you, little buddy. We have to the hole. Quick, find something big and form-fitting. Hefty yet flyable. Ray, 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 Aren't you going to offer to help me down? Wasn't planning on it.